Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast. Today we're featuring a 2014 Mercedes-Benz GL350 4MATIC Bluetech. This is a clean title, clean Carfax car. It's got 40,000 miles on it. We can finance it through Cuddle, which is a, a direct lending uh, collection of uh, credit unions. We can put an extended warranty on it out until 100,000 miles when we welcome trades. So we like the diesels because of the fuel economy and the towing capacity, and we really like them when they're built like this. This is, uh, you're not going to find it. They're very hard to find like this, I'll just say that. So it's got new tires on it. It has a ton of gear on it. The service is current. It doesn't need anything. I uh, just took it out to Mercedes and got a clean bill of health. And uh, while it was there, we put new struts in the rear hatch. Uh, so if you see this indentation on a Mercedes product, that means you've got, see that? Uh, keyless entry. Uh, or passive entry so you can lock and unlock your car without having your with having your key in the pocket and you've got what Mercedes also calls keyless go. So the body's in really good shape, paint's in excellent shape. You do have a tow package. You have rear parking sensors, you have a backup camera, you have surround view cameras on this. So Bluetech is a Mercedes uh, version of diesel. The 350 is the diesel, so typically these would be 450s or 550s, um, which are V8s. So it's a third row um, seat. It's got also a power folding rear seat. So if you hit these two buttons, that uh, so these two buttons here, and that electronically puts your seat down. Look at that, uh, Designio leather. It's a stunning car. So that will fold that down. Nice thing about this is the second row is also power. So that's your collapsible third row. You do have a power lift gate. So if you hit this button here, that's going to close your door for you automatically. So again, the paint and uh, exterior are in excellent condition. We didn't do any PDR, haven't done any paint touch up. Uh, it is a California, I think it's a California car actually, I'm not sure about that. It came out of a warm climate. Um, but I can't recall exactly where it was. So you have a surround view camera also. This has got adaptive cruise on it. So if you, if you anytime you see this generation Mercedes and this is, this is a flush, um, fascia here that means that you've got a radar system in there so typically this would just be the star and then this would be all empty here so that's an uncommon option on this car it's got automatic high beams uh, it's got so that means your high beams come on and turn off automatically uh, which is really nice uh, if you're driving to the coast or into the mountains because it turn off every time you hit oncoming traffic so this is uh, what Zinio leather looks like beautiful leather you have white stitching and then the cross hatch design here. So these are power, so this is, uh, that's gonna, um, how about that? <laughs> I didn't even know that was an option for Mercedes, so that's cool. Um, anyways, the, uh, so that pulls back down there, and then uh, back up it goes, oops. Uh, and then this also is um, adjustable, so, you can move that up or back, uh, depending on the angle you want it. Uh, so, dual rear uh, factory DVDs. We have the remotes and both headsets. You have three sunroofs in this, uh, or panoramic roof. You have rear climate control and rear heated seats, which is cool. Oh, soft closed doors. So, if you close that, that door's gonna, oops. That door's gonna close by itself. Uh, Oh, there, there we go. Uh, there you go. Soft closed doors. So let's see if I can get the driver's side to. Uh, the driver's. There you go. So that's nice. That's a nice option. So you don't have to slam your door shut. Uh, there's your driver's side or your driver's interior door panel. Again, Designio leather. So these are ventilated, massaging, uh, heated seats. They call them multi contour seats. Designio leather. I mean, just adjustable beyond reasonable. Um, you have power rear mirrors, so the mirrors in the third row you can open and close. That's your lift gate hatch. <coughs> so I've got the keys in my pocket. Uh, this silver button here is an indication of keyless go for Mercedes. Um, I'll turn that down. So. Um, ambient lighting, you can see the blue hue there and here. Super nice touch. You can see that yellow triangle in the side mirror. So that is an indication right there that you've got blind spot, which is nice. 
So passenger side door, passenger side seat, no wear and tear. Very, very clean. Leather dash. Well, that doesn't suck either. So uh, as you can see in super good shape. So this bar up here is an indication you've got parking sensors. You have one in the back also. Um, so I'll go through the gear with you. So center console is clean. You have USB jacks here. Uh, hill descent control, adjustable suspension. And then this is, I have not seen this, and so this is a cooling cup holder, and that is a heated cup holder. So that's cool. Didn't even know that was available. Um, so dual auto climate control, you have heated and ventilated seats for the driver's side and the passenger side. Traction control is here. Yeah, your ability to turn your parking um, sensors on or off. Turn the fan off. Um, so this is your um, infotainment system. These are your controls. You do have controls here. So these are programmable uh, down here, uh, back button, and this is a selection. So to make it simple up here, um, so Bluetooth, radio. So you've got satellite radio. This is an L7 surround sound system also. Uh, there's your navigation. Uh, if you hit this, put it in reverse, you'll see a backup camera and a surround view camera. This is an uncommon camera here. Uh, this is what you're used to seeing. Um, it does have active park assist. It does have active blind spot. It does have active lane keep. Those are all safety systems. And active means that it's going to vibrate or do something uh, to indicate actively that you're doing something that the car doesn't want you to do. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, so there's your system. So you can go up. There's your audio. There's your Bluetooth uh, video system. There's the system itself. Down is down below is media, uh, and then navigation. So you spin through this, and then you select it as you want to. Um, super easy. Very um, very uncomplicated to use. So multifunction steering wheel, you have a, a paddle shift on the right, which is an up shift. This is a paddle shift, which is a down shift. This is all your onboard computer stuff. This is your um, audio control, Bluetooth, and mute. Over here is um, your ability. This is a uh, Distronic Cruise, so you've got three different settings for that. Uh, cruise itself. These are your safety features. So you've got an assistant graphic. You have pre-safe brake, attention assist, blind spot lane keep assist. Uh, automatic headlights, uh, which are, are nice. So this is an indication that your automatic brights will turn on and turn off as you're driving now, which is super nice. Let me put this back in park. Um, trying to think what else. You do have Harman Kardon sound, so that's an upgraded sound system. Uh, three buttons here, programmable for security gates and garage door openers. And I think that's about it. So we, we love the Desenio package stuff. Um, I mean, just a stunning car. And the Destronic Cruise and all the safety stuff, heated and cooled cup holders, uh, massaging seats. Oh, that's one of the things I didn't show you. So if you go in here, uh, this is a setting for um, CD, uh, massage sheeting. And so you have your passenger side uh, and your driver's side. So you can select that. And then, of course, you can select wear and the intensity. So super nice. Um, and that's a button down here on the right. So, boy, very likable car. Not to mention it's a diesel. It's going to great fuel economy. So, oh, illuminated door sills. That's another option. So, anyways, the mileage is good. The gear is exceptional. The interior is uh, super uncommon. If you have questions or would like additional information, uh, please feel free to contact us, and we can be reached at 503-227. 2354. Thank you for visiting West Coast Auto Enthusiast.